Johnson, the member from Elgin, Middlesex, London. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. Minister, I've asked you this question before and you didn't give me an answer, so I'm going to ask you again. With your 15% auto insurance reduction effort, all of the province's non-standard auto insurance companies have been called in by Fisco and directed to reduce their rates. Of course, non-standard companies insure the worst drivers on the road. They insure people with poor driving records, have multiple speeding tickets, and worst of all, those with drunk driving offenses. Are you pleased with rewarding Ontario's worst drivers? Right. Yes, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the question. The member opposite makes reference to uh, the non-standard auto insurance that, in fact, do provide sort of a system of last resort for those individuals with bad driving records. The fact of the matter is they represent about 1.5 to 3 percent of the market and they are not the ones that we're targeting. We're targeting safe drivers, we're targeting and protecting consumers and the member opposite should be supporting our initiatives to lower premiums for all the consumers in this province who are suffering because of high cost of claims and auto fraud task force that's been commissioned by our government over the last number of years is helping us reduce those cost of claims and that is what we're doing to try to protect consumers in our marketplace. Thank you, supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Minister, you've missed the target and you've hit uh, the Ontario's worst drivers with rate reduction. Minister, this morning Mothers Against Drunk Driving issued a press release drawing attention to your irresponsible policy. They rightfully say that the biggest benefits in terms of dollars will go to the most dangerous drivers on the roads. Minister, in your rush to appease the NDP and cling desperately to power, you've implemented a policy clearly without thinking about the consequences. It seems the message you want to send to drunk drivers is don't worry about your high premiums. If we need to pander to the NDP's demands to stay in power, you will be first in line to get your lower rates. Now that Matt has come out and exposed the dangers of your price-fixing scheme, will you finally admit that you have not thought through the policy, correct your mistake, and implement our four-point plan to reduce driving for our rates for good drivers in this province? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the member opposite talks about a plan that they don't have and they've just sort of done on the fly. We've been at this for a number of years to try to support the nine million consumers. The member from Elgin, Middlesex, London will withdraw. Withdraw. Mr. Speaker, our commitment that we've been doing on this side of the House is to bring down rates for Ontario's 9 million drivers. The member opposite is spinning, talking about drunk drivers and those that have bad records. They're not the ones that are going to benefit from these initiatives because they are the worst drivers. And there's going to always have to be a last insurer of last resort to accommodate them, but they're not benefiting from this, Mr. Speaker. The ones that are going to benefit are safe drivers, the ones that institute a number of initiatives to bring down their rates. We are going to work with them and the other 9 million Answer. drivers to bring those rates down for consumers. The member opposite should stand with us on this, and they should support consumers in our province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question.